after the big Tevian Jones dunk, Southern Utah looked like they had all the momentum, Parker, but Utah Tech, to their credit, has done a really, really good job of preventing that from happening, and they've got the ball down by just four. Uh, <coughs> Isaiah Pope has been has been really big for them. He, he came in, he's had a couple tough layups that potentially could have been and ones, and then draws a foul, knocks down two free throws. That's big time. Pope giving him good minutes as a starter was on the bench. Looks like he'll head to check back in now. Oh, just kidding. Send him back to the bench. <laughs> He's got six of the Trailblazers, 11. Gooden charges inside. Tough finish there from Cam Gooden, but that is what makes him such a dangerous scorer. What a player. What a player. Misses his first two from deep. Said, I'm just going to go give me a couple layups. Butler turns it over. Had that issue last time these teams played down in St. George. Utah Tech has defended him and Tevian Jones very well, better than most this season. Leader tries. Allen way outside. Oh, he knocks it down. Ten of his last 14 from beyond the arc over the last few games. Drake Allen is on some kind of heater. Christensen going right at Follow, who defends him well, forces the miss. And it's tipped out of bounds, stays at this end of the court. Every three point shot that Drake Allen hits is just a bonus onto what they thought he was going to be as a playmaker, as a finisher at the rim. <clears throat> they didn't think he was going to come in and, and shoot the ball as well as he's shooting it. Anytime he makes it, it's, it's you know just a little gift to this coaching staff. Leader misses Drake Allen, the Snow College transfer, a 29% three point shooter last year, now approaching 45% this season. Harrison Butler nails a three. Off his first game of the year without a made field goal in the loss to Utah Valley on Saturday. He stretches the Southern Utah lead to eight as there's a foul away from the ball called here against Parsifala. First personal fourth team foul of the half. And Jacob Nichols, who hit a three earlier in this game, checks back in and leader heads to the bench for 18th year head coach John Judkins. Man who has come to define Utah Tech men's basketball. Barnes snatches it away. Here comes Barnes. Allen up and under with some English off the glass. What a heads up play there by D. Barnes. Recognizing the switch, realizing they wanted to go inside to Christensen off of the inbounds play. The play weight worked perfectly. Barnes just too smart, showing his basketball IQ. Follow with the rejection. He sends it out of bounds. Just his sixth block shot of the year. And that is the part of his game that they want to see continue to develop. A great sign there for the young freshman. Yeah, I mean, he's a decent shot blocker. Where the, where the issue comes is his footwork on defense. You know, he'll, he'll foul when they try and you know, enter it into the post. He, he just needs to be a little bit smarter defensively. Gonzalez has it poked away by Harrison Butler. Drake Allen's got 11 points. He hasn't missed a shot in this game. He didn't miss one against Utah Tech last time either. Cam Healy has that bounce out of bounds and the Trailblazers thankful to see him miss a three because they know full well <laughs> what he's capable of from long range. Yeah, sparked the big comeback run that the Thunderbirds had down in St. George. Hit four straight threes and part of a 17 to two run in the second half. But like I said, Trailblazers held strong, eventually winning that game. Utah Tech had a 21 point lead. As another one goes down for Jacob Nichols, a 54% three-point shooter has knocked down a pair in this one. He's got six. You're the Thunderbirds. You have to know you can't you can't help off of him. He's a sniper. It's a sniper call on the floor. You say, hey, that sniper, we don't help near side, we don't help far side. You stay connected. D. Barnes is able to draw the foul here on Frank Stain, who thought he was going to have a jump ball. 
first team foul called against Utah Tech. So a team that John Judkins said has had to continually work at improving their defensive effort, particularly late in games. He has to like just one foul here in the first 11 and a half minutes of action. Going into a zone here are the Trailblazers. Allen from range, not this time. He was feeling it, and that's the first missed shot of the year against Utah Tech, but he pokes it away. Healy, Allen, blocked inside, finishes anyway. Drake Allen with 13 points. That's how many he had in the entire game against Utah Tech in the 86-79 loss back on February 4th. And he is leading this Southern Utah offense right now. Nichols, knifes, and misses. Healy. Barnes gets inside, can't finish, follow the tip in. Timeout, John Judkins. 